So this, okay, this was the same night as the Broken Hand match. And like, uh, this was the big return for Krieger Margin after his big leave from the army after the second time. And this is our big, uh, Wrestlemania show, I would call it. And this was my return match that I was expecting to come back with a title match. Or at least a, a top competitor I was fighting. Yeah, but, you know, heel Jason wasn't going to go with that. <laughs> Yet again, screwed. Damn. Damn. Man yeah. yeah. And big league. So, okay, like, I'm going to... Uh, and I, they I, had I, the man that cheated right there, PX90. So, okay, I'm going to go on the limb on, on here, and this is me not trying to throw shade, but, like, Krieger does have a point. Like... He went on an undefeated streak, like over probably like a year ago before this, and then left. And then there was some other personal stuff going on, including beating you. And, and then, would like, he beat a whole bunch of people, and then he came back a year later to wrestle for us. And the right thing that would have been was that would have given him a title shot, but management was like, "Oh, we're just gonna give him a singles match against." Uh, a new guy that just started like maybe two months ago. Who has zero wrestling experience. Zero wrestling experience. Nothing against him. But uh, PX90, who... His last wrestling match between this night and the last time he wrestled, this was like July. Like for me, this match, when I saw, when I heard this is who I was fighting, I was like, this is not even fair. But, but you like, put up a good fight. But, like, okay, for, like, I guess from your standpoint, like, it, it was, I, I can see why it's not fair, because, like, you could have been given an Intercontinental title match, but PX90 got the title match because he asked for it, and then you... See right there? I see the glare. I oh. see the glare right there. That glare makes more sense now, because yeah. you knew he was getting the shot. It yeah. could have worked really well for a storyline, though. Yeah. To, you got screwed out of your shot when you never lost. But I think, I, I think, okay, so, of course, this was... And of this, course, BX90 gets whatever he wants. He asks for a title, he gets it, and then he just fucking walks away. And never <laughs> comes back. Yeah. So, so like, it could really work. Uh, but also, you but got, I do five matches and win all of them, and I don't get a fucking title match. Yeah. I, I also had to keep in mind that, like, this was the opening match we had that night, and then my match was, like, the second or third match after that. Which is, was even worse that I was the opening match, because I then, just came back. And then, you know? uh, the only reason why I wanted to keep with Cosmos is that, I mean, one, that was the original plan we had for, like, probably, like, a whole month, and two, I was still, at the time, indifferent about how I was going to handle that match, due to personal reasons. Because I didn't want to be all like, okay, well, I'm going to switch opponents with somebody because, you know, story. Mm. But the good news is I could take my anger out on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking newbie. Yeah. I was like, man, this is going to be fun. Poor, poor Elijah. Poor yeah. Trini of all, of all people. Because right every match we had, Trini always got stuck in the fucking crossfire. Because <laughs> I, was, I was in shape from the army there. Mm -hmm. like, I was... I mean, you know Elijah, so you can probably point out some stuff that he's doing wrong here. Oh, yeah. And I am I am honestly kind of sad that he's not, on a personal level, I'm kind of mm. sad he's not coming back. Yeah. Cause from, what, from, from how he's expressed that he's not coming back, but I would love to have Elijah come back and be able to actually wrestle with us again. Because, I mean, yeah, he wasn't the best, but he was fun to wrestle against. And it's one of those things where he's just not experienced. He could get better. Yeah. And it sounds like the door is open. If he wants. Yeah, the door is always going to be open. It's just, it's whether or not he wants to. So like I said, he's, I mean, he's, he's surviving. See, he's yeah, not he's, bad. He's pretty good for like not having little to no experience. And I mean, like that, the old school wrestling '90s mm. style. It's kind of the Mikey Ripwreck. Yeah. Of ECW. I mean, like his first match he ever had was against mm -hmm. Cosmos. A legendary forearm. <laughs> hey, listen, that was ingrained. That was ingrained into wrestling with me that you do that. Like oh, yeah. that was. You, it's one of the top things that gets people to move. You do that, or you dig like a, a chin or a forehead into pressure points yeah. to get them to move. And you got the classic: you control the head, you control the body, that yeah. sort of thing. So. Yeah. Keep it in a T, hip position. So even if he has my head there, keeping his hips back. 
Right. Keep him close to his body. And you keep your body scissored. See, because he's completely focused on my head and not even thinking about hip position. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can just roll through. Oh god, here I go. This is clean. <laughs> He's trying to like fight there. See, like Elijah. Elijah's not stupid though. Yeah. He he knows what's happening. Oh yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Triangle style. Slipped up. There it is, right there. There. That's all. You didn't even cinch it. in. He tapped. Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> I was gonna cinch it. Well, yep. That's probably my favorite triangle choke I've done.